Welcome to the Student River Podcast, episode one, a podcast that is uh, completely devoted to helping you grow your kids' activity center. Look, you guys are busy, owners, managers, directors, you guys are busy, and often you guys got into this business to coach kids, and when that's the case, it doesn't really leave room for all the other stuff that has to take place in a business. You have to treat this thing like a business, and that's tough to do when you're on the floor, in the pool, whatever that might be, coaching for five hours a day. So we're developing a podcast. We, I, I'm developing a podcast. We're going to call this podcast Student River because it's going to be completely focused on helping you grow your gymnastics gym, your swim school, your dance studio, uh, your martial arts programs, your uh, ninja and urban and parkour, your kid activity center. We are going to help you scale. We're going to bring to you the stuff that you need to know to take your school, your gym, your programs to the next level, to uh, add more students, to increase your fandom, to ultimately leave a better legacy in your community, to help more kids. The reasons why you started this business in the first place likely have gotten lost along the way as you have tried to uh, keep up, as you've tried to run your front desk and uh, do the hiring and run payroll and also coach and occasionally clean the bathrooms too, I'm sure. There's not enough time to do it all. And so we're going to bring to you the stuff that you need to help you along on this journey. We're going to teach stuff about um, boosting enrollments, both stuff that you've probably heard and I promise you a whole lot of stuff that you haven't. Stuff about retention, how to cut back on that attrition number and, and retain more students, not just month to month, but over the summer, over the holidays, how to retain students longer, maintain your reputation online. Guys, we live in a very transparent world. I know you know this because you're having to deal with uh, with parents and frustrated parents and positive reviews and negative reviews online. And we're going to talk about, you know, maintaining um, your reputation online. Uh, basically, guys, we're going to talk about all those things that you need to do, the marketing and the operations and hiring and all these things that are going to help you grow your programs and ultimately create the business that you have always wanted, which is really the point. Now, I'm working off some notes here just to make sure that I don't get off on too many uh, rabbit trails. Um, we talked about what this podcast is going to be about, um, why it's being created. It's being created for you uh, so that you can pay attention to the stuff that you're actually wanting to pay attention to um, and doing what you do best, which, you know, maybe that's run the business, but chances are it's not. It's likely coaching. Uh, so we're going to be helping you with that. Look, you can expect stuff from me every week. Each week, we're going to cover a different topic. You know, some topics may cover multiple weeks. You know, it might stretch into a one part, two part, three parts, four parts. Depends on how long winded I get. Um, but m each week, we're going to tackle a, a new topic. And it's going to be aimed at helping you raise your game to level up in some area around your program. And we want to uh, do this consistently. Uh, so we plan on doing this every single week. Uh, we'll release these on Monday uh, is the hope uh, so that uh, you can uh, look to your week and implement those things and make those changes that are going to move the needle, uh, move the needle for your center. Um, who am I? Why am I qualified to speak? Um, my name is Luke Stokes. I don't know if I said that already or not, but there it is if I didn't. Uh, my name is Luke Stokes, and I am the founder and president of the largest 
student generation agency in the country, a company called Cascade Conversion. And what we do is we specifically help um, gymnastics gyms and swim schools and dance studios and ninja programs and martial arts programs and parkour. We help all of these um, types of kids activity centers bring more students in. Uh, by driving more students in through the front doors, it helps every facet of your business. Um, now, you can grow too fast, of course, but I find that that's rarely the issue. And usually it's a lack of revenue that is the issue. And so what we have done is uh, we've developed a system a system called Student River. Uh, That's why we named the podcast after it. Um, That is specifically designed to create a automated student generation uh, piece for your gym. So that's what I do. That's what I do every single day is drive new students to kid activity centers. Now, my background is a little bit more diverse than that. Uh, My background, uh, I started studying internet marketing 2002. Um, That was way back long ago uh, in the early days of internet marketing. I started in affiliate marketing. Really, it was just uh, telling other people about other people's products and getting a little tiny commission on all of that. And that's where I started. And then in 2006, I started a company called Degree 33 Surfboards. Now, I know that seems random. But track with me here for a second. I started a surfboard company. I was living in California at the time. And my wife and I started a company to, uh, we built a surfboard brand. And so what we did is we set out, now I didn't have any experience uh, in e-commerce. I didn't have any, I had lots of experience in marketing and internet marketing and sales, but I didn't have any uh, experience in e-commerce. And we set out to build a surf brand, which as a farm boy from Washington State is kind of laughable, really. Um, And is uh, it's got a lot of gall to think that, you know, I can make waves in an industry that is so guarded. So we set out in 2006 to do this and we quickly grew one of the largest direct to consumer surfboard brands in the country. Now I say direct to consumer because mm, the surf industry up to that point was uh, archaic, still is on some level in their marketing approach. What I mean by that is everything was going through the local surf shop, right? The beachfront local surf shop, you'd put your boards in there and hope that the 16 year old high school student would slang your boards to you know the locals as they would come through your store. And that's the way business had been done for decades. And we decided to do a little bit different. We decided to go, hey, we're going to sell these surfboards. We're going to build our own surfboards and we're going to create our own brand and we're going to sell them directly to the consumer. We're going to bypass the shop. And as you can imagine, you know, we didn't exactly create a bunch of friends along the way. Uh, Surf shops weren't exactly thrilled with us. We had a lot of haters. We had a lot of people that um, didn't think that we could do it. And we ended up building one of the largest in the country over the course of the next decade. Now, why is this relevant? Obviously, this I went down a little bit of a tangent here, but why is this relevant to you? Look, what we had to do in that business to make it work is we had to become experts, um, full-blown, bona fide experts in lead generation. Because the only way that I could get people to come and buy my product off my website was to attract them, was to get them to come and see it. Um, I didn't have the luxury of location. I didn't have the luxury of word of mouth. No one had ever heard of us before. I was starting from scratch and I had to get really good at generating leads online. I got so good at it that we actually pioneered uh, lead generation in that space. And we have created uh, quite the legacy there of of knowing how to attract uh, an interested buyer. Now, let's fast forward, okay? So we got that out of the way. Um, I built a surfboard company. I sold it in 2016 um, after really um, developing really good chops in this lead generation space. So now we fast forward. And I've got a family, 
I've got three little kids. I've got a, a seven-year-old boy uh, at the time of this recording. I've got a, uh, a three-year-old little girl and a one-and-a-half-year-old boy. And my wife and I, on the backside of selling that company, we're talking about what's next for us. And we knew that lead generation needed to be a piece of it. Uh, I had proven myself to be very good at this. And we wanted to be able to take that skill set and ultimately help another industry with it. And so as we started to look around at what other industries could benefit from aggressive lead gen. It became obvious through a series of, of, of testing and um, connections and a few uh, providential uh, happenings that the Kid Activity Center, and specifically we started with gymnastics, that gymnastics uh, is really archaic in its marketing. Um, for example, if you go look at most websites out there, whether it's gymnastics or dance or martial arts or swim, it looks like they were built in 1997 by a high school student. I mean, it does. They're, they're terrible. And so we're also going to cover that. We're going to cover websites as well, because obviously I built an e-commerce band. I'm familiar with that, but getting off track again. Um, but, um, where was I going? Let's see. We were talking about, um, oh, archaic marketing. And so as we started looking around at what what industries we wanted to be involved in, I love kids. I got three of them. They're all involved in, you know, some programs, you know, uh, my daughter's involved in dance and they go to open gyms and, you know, uh, my littlest is too small for most of those activities, but they're busy and they're involved in these activities in our community. And so as I started to test this, it became very obvious that there is high leverage of knowing how to generate new students for this industry. And so we started doing uh, some case studies. Now, ultimately, I just reached out to a few gyms at that time and just said, hey, I'll run some marketing for you for free. Uh, I just want to test some stuff. And uh, our very first test, our very first test was with a gym, uh, a gym in Las Vegas um, that I won't mention at this point, but a gym in Las Vegas, a guy by the name of Jerry. And uh, he he allowed us to run some ads for him, and we got him 36 new students in the first month. That was totally uh, trackable back to our efforts. And so quickly, we found out that not only is Kid Activity Center's uh, gymnastics at that time, we only thought it was gymnastics at that time that was going to do this. But as we've grown now, we found out that dance is the same and swim is the same and martial arts is the same. Um, you guys are ripe because you're local. You are, um, you're serving your direct immediate vicinity, your immediate community. And your ability to advertise in that environment is massive. The potential is amazing. And there's so much leverage that can take place in there in reaching your community and getting them to come in and take a class with you. It's massive. And so uh, we've gone down this journey. That's the, that's the story of how we got to this point. We've gone down this journey uh, helping kid activity centers all over the country, literally coast to coast and border to border, um, develop and create new students. So I come at you from a standpoint of, of authority, really. And I don't say that arrogantly, like, please uh, don't misunderstand me um, because that's not my intent at all. But I can back it up. Like we drive thousands of new students to kid activity centers all over the country. And so when it comes to growing your business and implementing the systems that you need to not only put more people through the doors, but get those people that come through the doors to enroll and enroll long term and stay and say nice things about you online and to their friends and create a culture in your in your programs that the families want to be a part of, that the kids want to be a part of. And here you go. How about the employees, your other coaches want to be a part of? Hiring is a massive issue for uh, for kid activity centers and retaining talent is not easy 
But if you focus on the culture and all of these things around just the mechanics of hiring somebody else and where do I put my ads, um, it's much bigger than that. Um, we're going to help you identify those things. So that's what this is all about. Um, I feel like I'm rambling a little bit at this point, so uh, I'm going to start to uh, start to dial it back here. But our goal with this podcast is to help you really take your gym to the next level. So, you know, cherry pick some of the episodes, find something that's relevant to you. It might be marketing, it might be hiring, it might be retention, could be a number of different things. We're going to cover it all, but I just wanted to introduce myself. I wanted to announce that we're doing this. I'm looking forward to bringing you content on a weekly basis that is going to benefit you and help drive your programs to the next level. So, Until next time, again, my name is Luke Stokes, and I look forward to helping you along this journey. Thanks for joining me today.